people that I talk to, a lot of filmmakers are reticent to get into the world of branded content and the work that's there because there's a lot of it um, because they think it's um, uh, stuff from the past where it just hits you over the face with a, with a candy bar or or a, a, you know a, a, a soda. Right. And um, it's that's really not the case so much anymore. Well, it's, there's different kinds of branded content. There's branded content that's long form that um, it does the products in it, it hits you over the face, but they're not they're not hiding from that. Um, and then there's branded content where you may not even see the product in it, or if it's in it, it's organic to the story. For instance, I did um, a branded content series with um, Land Rover and Condé Nast Traveler. There were 12 three-minute episodes, and it followed one character in a Land Rover going to all these different locations, off-roading, meeting people, meeting interesting characters, um, so certainly the product was in it because he's driving the Land Rover, but he's not talking about the features of the Land mm -hmm. Rover. So it's not hitting you over the head. Um, so I like it. I mean, I did a, a, a series of commercials for Toyota called Line of Scrimmage, where it was basically Friday Night Lights. We went to eight different high schools um, that were it had an interesting, unique story. One was a deaf high school. One was a school in a very poor area, so they didn't even have enough players. So the offense was also playing defense. Oh, wow. And each one had an interesting story. And all it says is Toyota line of scrimmage presents. They're not driving in a truck. They're not driving a truck. There's no logo. What it was is it was about the Toyota Tundra and a tough truck. And here are these tough kids. Mm -hmm. And it was more metaphorical. And I think it's interesting. Um, if you're going to have your product in it, is to um, make it integrate it into the story. Yeah, well, I mean, that's... As opposed I, to going to a close-up shot. Right, and, and that's what I was getting at. I think, you know, that is three-quarters of the internet in 2017. Three-quarters three quarters of the, the, uh, the content that is, that's pushed through all the tubes of the internet is... is is video and most of that's branded in one way or another. I think it's so, man, this, this is actually great that we're talking about this because um, I mean, you come from a you know unscripted world and it's it's easier to do it in that world. But I think it's important to note, out, to note that uh, Morgan Spurlock, who is now a collaborator of yours, who is famous um, for you know the things that he does, uh, got his start doing branded content as well. Yeah, People don't realize that he was like, basically I sort of think a carnival barker for Sony back in the day through just some serendipitous things that happened. And then it came up with the idea that he needed to start shooting content around Sony's products and they said, sure, and they gave him a budget. And then that's really kind of what shot him into actually making the things that he wanted to, to make. Yeah. Uh, and people don't realize that about it. Yeah. And I think that that's true and it's not, but, it's, but I don't mean to say that uh, branded content is a sort of a starting point. Uh, or even the in between, in between the between the like cr more creative projects you want to work on, it, it can be the creative projects. you Well, want to also, work Brennan on. content is storytelling. I mean, you have commercials that are really selling the product. You know, your your traditional thirties and sixty second spots on TV. They're selling the product where everyone's not watching commercials on TV. They're on the internet or they're mobile, and so it's another way to integrate a brand into a story. Um, that may be a TV show that's really exciting. It's not about the product, but um, it's, you know, got actors and it's, like, you know, it's just sponsored by this because the brand ethos of that product or client connects with that story. Sure. I mean, a prime example is uh, what Marriott's doing right now. Yeah. Uh, David Beebe, uh, who's an old friend of mine, has created their, you know, you wouldn't think that, oh, Marriott's going to create a, like, 60, I forget how many, it's like at least 60 people work on this production team, and they're creating content for their all the hotel chains that they own yep. around the world, but it's not even about the hotel chains, and it's not even it's content. It's about the experience. It's about the, and, well, yeah, and it's not even, like, in-room, that people think, oh, it's in-room experience. Right. It's not. It's, it's truly uh, just um, the experience of travel. So they yeah. have, like, a... There's a like, like a half hour like romantic romantic comedy they created a short film called uh, I want to say it's called French Kiss right right and it's obviously set in Paris and it's this, this man and a woman and yeah. you know it's comedy it's and it's it's romance and then they've got Two Bellmen which is a comedy series um, yeah and as a well. lot of brands I mean none of we, none of it's about the brand though Red Bull same thing you know GoPro Red Bull um, they're creating their own content um, that doesn't necessarily have someone drinking a Red Bull in it mm -hmm. you know what I mean.